Hi, meteorologist John Dawson. You have found the Fox 26 YouTube tropical update. Thanks for finding us here. If you didn't know, we're here every day a little bit after 4 p.m. Because, you know, in a newscast, we just don't have the time that's really required to dive into things and really discuss what's happening in the tropics. So, so fortunate that we're able to do that here on YouTube and glad you found us today. It is Sunday in the afternoon, a little bit after 4 p.m. as I mentioned, and the National Hurricane Center, and this is no complaints by the way, uh, continues to uh, expect nothing to develop in the tropical sense at least uh, for the next five days in the Atlantic Basin. And that is again what we're excited about. Uh, typically, uh, we would uh, see things fairly quiet in July. Now, we certainly saw some activity in June and even before June 1st, we did see some activity, um, but it was nice that we uh, had a little bit of a break during July. And this is really kind of getting back on track to what we historically would expect to find this time of the year. It's just usually quiet in July. And so when we get into August, we'll see things kind of ramp up. We're going to talk about that a little bit more more in a minute, but I definitely want to talk about and look at what's happening out in the Pacific and we'll start with Hurricane Frank. Hurricane Frank is a category one hurricane maximum sustained winds at 80 miles an hour and for the time being at least continuing to stay out in the open waters of the Pacific and not really having a lot of direct impact here on our coastline over there uh, on the west coast uh, of uh, Mexico. And what we're expecting, though, is to continue to see Frank kind of degrade a little bit, lose some of its organization, lose some of its strength. It's actually going to be sort of moving into some cooler waters, and that's going to have a big fact uh, factor in why it's uh, sort of weakening somewhat. And uh, what it is going to do, though, I'll, I'll talk about that in just a second as far as Georgette, because Georgette's out there, too, and Frank's going to have a little bit of an impact on what's happening with Georgette. Uh, but we're looking for at least a tropical storm again for tomorrow, and then things really begin to fall apart pretty quick uh, once we get into Tuesday. Tuesday, as far as what we're expecting uh, from uh, Georgette, uh, from Frank and where, it, where it's heading and, and really won't be that much of a problem by the time we get to Thursday uh, in as far as its organization goes. So it's kind of a ridge of high pressure that this is sort of tracking around a little bit. And what we're noticing as well with Georgette, <laughs> you're going to notice the path on Georgette is just a little bit crazy here as uh, we've been looking at this westerly track that it's been taking. And again, it's more or less sort of bouncing around a ridge and then that's is going to weaken. Plus, I think Frank's kind of taking a little bit of strength away from that westerly push. And so we're going to we're going to find Georgette wanting to wander to the north a little bit and then things are going to kind of reestablish a little bit more and it gets that ridge builds back in and strengthens and then that westerly push happens once again. So a bit of an unusual track for Georgette, which again at this point still a tropical cyclone. It's a tropical depression and it will probably stay that way through Wednesday. I this is the five day track, but I, I took a couple days off of it just so we could kind of get make it a little bit simpler because yeah, you know if you'll notice here this is the current location uh, with those maximum sustained winds at 35 miles an hour not much change by this same time tomorrow in the afternoon just a little bit more to the northwest of movement and then we see that northerly track happen and so really Tuesday should be in the middle here I've left it off because it just got way too crowded then we get to Wednesday and same thing there should be a Thursday in here but I just there was too much going on so I just left off a couple days uh, off of the uh, Tuesday, Thursday. I left that off of there. You can kind of fill that in and make it get to Friday when it loses its tropical characteristics uh, at that point in time. So, you know, as we've talked about, uh, very quiet in the Atlantic right now, but lots going on at the Pacific. And climatologically speaking, this is pretty typical for what we would expect to find happening in the Atlantic. So I'm switching back kind of to the Atlantic Basin and what we're looking at here. This represents the activity over the six months of hurricane season. And so we're right here almost to the start of August. And you'll see we expect to see activity ramping up at this point, though. It definitely looks like we're going to get a week or so into August before we begin to see these numbers and they're going to really kind of shoot up a little bit. The official peak of hurricane season in the Atlantic Basin is September the 10th. So that's when we'll see that highest mark 
historically speaking, and then we'll begin to see sort of uh, the, the, thing, uh, the numbers decline as we move through September and definitely a big drop once we get into October. We have a little bit of a plateau here and then things really drop dramatically once we get to the end of October. So not too unusual as far as our total numbers that we're seeing so far in the United States, but it certainly seems like it has been quiet because the month of July has been so quiet. We'll see though what happens once we get into August. I do really expect to see those numbers increase a little bit. The Fox 26 weather app, it's a great way to be a part of your tropical preparedness. So get that free download. Uh, go to your favorite app store. Look up Fox 26. You're going to be able to get that. You'll be getting the alerts from the National Weather Sur uh, from the National Hurricane Center. The National Weather Service alerts comes in there as well, but for tropical reasons, of course, the Hurricane Center is what you want to find. And then, of course, our updates that we, we are going to be producing here at Fox 26 will also be coming through the app. If you want to follow me on social media, that would be fantastic. I'm really looking for a few more followers on Instagram as far as the tropics are concerned. So if you want to finish up this video, then Get out the phone there, punch in uh, on Instagram at John Dawson Fox 26. It would be great to follow you. And that, those hurricane preparedness ideas are a little presented a little bit more there on Instagram. So it'd be great if you want to look that up. As I mentioned at the beginning, uh, we are here every day a little bit after 4 p.m. We hope to see you again tomorrow.